Okay, so what we have here is the uh, local swap meet score. I'll read these numbers off this uh, CRT. It's a Toshiba. If you can't read it, it's a 79, 35, 5, 10, uh, Delta, Zebra, Bravo, 22. That's right, B22, but I think that's still okay. I think that's a Japanese way of saying things. Uh, I don't know about how to read what the you know, date codes are and all that. It says, made by Toshiba Japan. And then it's got 4MD002BI. Uh, it's your standard Delta configuration. I've got it hooked up to the um, what is this? Uh, uh, to my tube tester, not my CRT tester, and I've got it set at the. I set the filament up. Here, let me turn this silly light thing off. Now you've got the uh, filament set at only five volts, which I like to do. Is Good tubes, you know, it performs at five volts. Uh, it's currently set up with blue HK shorts, G1 shorts, cut off, very, very controllable emissions. I'm going to go to uh, the other setup, and this is in my book. 510D, uh, see what Delta, Delta Zebra? Yeah. Or Zulu, Delta Zulu, or Delta Zebra, I can't remember which one it is. Bravo 22. Okay, um, 234 is red. So let's switch over to red. 2, 3, 4. HK shorts, G1 shorts, cut things really clear there. Cut off, a little bit of adjustment, not much. Emissions, also good. And I start off with blue, so I have to do green. Uh, we're looking at 675. Green. Six, seven, five, green, HK, G1, cut off, back it off a tad, emission. So clearly the, the CRT test great, and that's at five volts. Just for heck of it, we'll push the life test. See what happens. I'm holding the life test down. Wow, still nothing. I'm going to just crank this filament down and see what it takes to make that needle move. Holy cow. Come on, move. Four and a half volts. Let's take it down to four volts. Give it a chance to cool off. And still right there at 100 milliamps. Oh, there it's starting to move. There it goes. Well, I mean, it's. I think this is going to make a great, bright picture. Anyway, more later. Oh, I've got a flyback too. It looks like at the swap meet. That's a for a CTC7, which I have, which would be good to have as a backup. It's a triad, it's not a third arson, so I think that's probably just as good too. I opened it up, it was one of the black tar covered ones and it was in you know, good shape, so I feel pretty good about that. I just need to store it in a nice dry place. That's all for now.